Hey guys, Linda Vodder here. Welcome to my wonderful world of topiary. I absolutely adore topiary. It's one of my favorite, if not the favorite forms of gardening that I do. And I have topiary everywhere, especially boxwood. I've said it a hundred times, if I had only one plant in my garden, it would be boxwood and preferably a tightly clipped boxwood topiaried into a perfect globe shape. I have them scattered throughout my flower beds and I don't know how how many I've got in pots that are punctuating uh, different areas of my garden everywhere. And one thing I've learned, if one is handsome and good looking, then 20 is even better. So with that in mind, I'm creating some more today and I thought I would kind of fill you in on some of my tips and techniques to get that perfect globe shape. The most important thing absolutely the most important thing is what plant, what boxwood variety you start out with. And for that, I love Baby Gem from the Southern Living Plant Collection. And it's perfect for a couple of different reasons. Number one, it has a tidy, compact form that really only grows like three feet high and three feet wide, so it's perfect for pot culture. The other reason is it's, it's got finely leaved foliage that's really densely branched. So when you start clipping, it will fill in almost immediately, again, making that perfect globe form. So that's the first place you wanna start. Number two, get really good sharp pruners. When the topiary gets larger, eventually you're probably gonna to wanna to use long bladed pruners, but right now just sharp hand pruners are just perfect. And then three, you just need to be brave. Don't be intimidated. You really can't do anything wrong. It's just like a bad haircut. If you don't like it, it will grow out. And you just really need to kind of assess the plant and look for that boxwood ball within. And then you just start. Because these branches typically grow a little bit more vertically, I normally start at the top to start establishing more of a squatty profile and to get that rounded shape established. And then you wanna constantly turn it to make sure that it's going to be symmetrical on all sides because that's really important. So just give it a number of 360s. And then once you've got the top to about the height you want. And I'm pretty aggressive about my pruning. I don't worry about making sure that I'm clipping in between leaf nodes or I'm cutting off a little too much here, a little bit too much there. You basically, again, just have to be brave, constantly assessing the shape and the form. Once I get the top established, I kind of just turn my pruners on an angle because that's going to help the sides establish the curve. And the trip, trip to maintaining topiary is you want to do frequent pruning. And I start pruning in early, early spring, as soon as new growth starts coming out. And then I prune continually throughout spring and actually through the entire growing season during the summertime. And that will make a boxwood ball almost immediately. And somebody once asked me, how do you know when you're finished? And I said, I'm finished when I run out of time because I could just keep tweaking it. It's really very cathartic. It's great meditative gardening. I love it. And before you know it, given a little time and patience, most importantly, a baby gem boxwood from the Southern Living Plant Collection and a sharp set of pruners, you too can have a beautifully topiaried boxwood ball.